Today we're going to start on our next module on essential computer concept skills. So let's get started. We're going to come over here to learning modules and you'll see that modules 3 and 4 have been moved up in our learning modules queue. Modules 3 covers Microsoft Office Common Features which is in the Office 2016 book and Windows 10. If you'll click into here into Module 3 in Blackboard, you'll see an overview and you'll see an explanation of what chapters you need to read in the book. Also down below, there are two puzzles, a common feature puzzle and a Windows 10 puzzle. These puzzles feature a crossword type puzzle style that has vocabulary to help you focus on certain chapter, certain words and common features. And this Windows 10 has a word search to also focus on certain features in Office 2016. And down here below in the Windows 10 puzzle are some word clues to help you find those words in the word search puzzles. So that's a good place to start. You can download these puzzles to your phone or computer complete them, upload them. You upload to Blackboard by clicking the title of the assignment. Then after having saved that assignment to your desktop, you come to that title and you browse your computer to find that title on your desktop. You double click it um, and it will show a line right down here um, underneath add comments. It'll have like an attached file right here. Because I'm an instructor, it, it will just show an error if I do it. But um, then you click Submit, and there should be a yellow exclamation mark inside your um, My Grades. Now, I'm going to take you out to the course textbook. There are two textbooks this semester, but we only use one of the two textbooks um, in the beginning. I go to Course Content, and I jump on outside of Blackboard into my lab. And then we end up being right here in our course content in my labs. And you'll see our essential computer concept skills test is right here. You have two attempts. Um, but your e-text that you want to focus on, if you'll click those, the top is technology in action. You need to focus on chapters 2, 3, and 9. You click here. The textbook opens for you. You can also do this on your phone with the Pearson eText app. You have to remember your username and password to be able to log into that app. So here's the Technology in Action textbook. I can come over here to the pull down menu. I want to concentrate on Chapter 2, looking at computer parts, Chapter 3, using the internet, and See if it's going to let me go below. And chapter 9, security, which is down below. Um, there we go. Now it's going to let me go down there. Chapter 9, securing your system and protecting digital data devices. Now that's one of the textbooks. This link lets you download those textbooks to a mobile device, a tablet, a Mac, an iPhone, an Android phone, but I have found that the um, Pearson eText app is really easy to use and I suggest that and I hope to do another video to explain that. The Exploring Microsoft Office textbook is rather larger. We will be using that book throughout the semester. Um, chapter 1 covers Windows 10 and again there's a puzzle to help support the vocabulary you should focus on that and then chapter two is common features and there's also a puzzle on that so right here working with the operating system and right here office 2016 common features so they're actually kind of before chapter one and two they're this prequel part um, we'll be using the rest of the chapters as we get rocking and rolling after essential computer concept skills. There's a two week time period for the test and I want to show you where that's at. So we're going to come back here to course materials and we're going to go back to my course and my course shows you all the course sections for the course. 
these first two weeks we're going to focus on essential computer concept skills. You click in there and you remember taking a pretest. This is very similar and you can see the scheduling dates. Yours may change for a different semester but it's usually due by 1130 on that first Monday night. So I would actually click this and it would say continue and I would say continue and then now it's going to open up a multiple choice test. I say start. It says I only have one attempt. I have set it so you have two. If you have a challenge with that, please text me. So for example, let's go ahead and do this first question. There are 50 questions. I strongly to urge you to answer all of them as you go through it. You can go forward and backwards, but as you can see, it has a one hour time limit. Average student takes 20 to 25 minutes to complete this test. Don't freak out. You got this. Just take your time. Social blank is a technique that uses social skills to generate human interactions that entices individuals to reveal sensitive information. The correct answer is social engineering. I would click that radio button and then I would go next question. You can see it's number one's done and it's taking me to number two. Again, if you're not sure, go ahead and answer all 50 questions. Write maybe on a post-it note or on your phone which questions you'd like to review. And then at the end, do not hit finish submit for grading till you're sure you've answered all 50 questions. But again, you can jump around and come back to question number 23 if, for example, you did not, um, weren't sure about the an an answer. But make sure you answer all 50 questions. When you're done, click Finish Submit for Grading, and it will provide you with a grading score. I am not going to finish this test right now. I'm going to leave. You Once you leave, you've used up one of your options, okay? And it'll show you. There's my score. I got 2% correct. I spent two minutes on this concept and I only I used one attempt so it is saying I did not pass so so that will be hand fed for you back into Blackboard into my grades um, I hope this has helped you get started with modules three and four in our unit for essential computer concept skills